Congratulations, Courtney. What an incredible moment that must have been, seeing all of the, the gold tickers tape coming down and thinking I've got through to the quarterfinals. It was just, oh, it's just fantastic. But I've got to ask you, first of all, America's Got Talent, huge show. Why did you think, OK, I'm going to go there, I'm going to conquer the big one? Um, it's where all my idols are from. And it's the biggest show in the world, so... Yeah, and so judge-wise, you've got, of course, Simon Cowell, Mel B, Heidi Klum and Howie Mandel, who was our... we love now because of the golden buzzer. <laughs> um, who would you have been most nervous about? Would it have been Simon still as the judge? And why would that have been? Um, Simon, Simon, so I was really nervous about singing in front of him. Yeah, of course. Simon described you, you sing like a lion, like this voice comes from somewhere. But what is it? Is this just something that is very natural to you? Um, yeah, it is natural. It's just like I turn into a different person. Mm -hmm. Yeah, no, of course. Well, Howie said that your voice almost comes from a different era. And look, who does influence you? You talk about the music that you like and the, and the greats. So uh, what is it that sort of makes you love that type of style? I like Janis Joplin, James Brown, Mick Jagger, Aretha Franklin, Etta James, Tina Turner, so on and so on. Oh, that's a good list. Is that, <laughs> is that a bit of an influence from no, you, Paul, or what? from me, no. She just sits there on YouTube and stuff like that, and then one leads to another and just hooks. It's really interesting, isn't it? So how do you prepare now for this next stage of the competition? Because uh, you head over there next week, is that right, yeah? yeah. I've been practising every day and I've been going for runs to, for, like, my energy levels. Uh -huh. Oh, really? OK. And what do you do voice-wise? Is it just... Does that just sort of come naturally when you're up there? Um. Yeah. A little bit, yeah. You say, I don't think you have to even think about it. <laughs> You've got a lot of celebrity fans as well. Tell us about one that really got you very excited. Um, for Loma Fifth, we did me. And what did she say? Um, that she, she'd die and that she, she really liked me. Now, to be precise, she loves you, Courtney, is what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Which is very nice, isn't it, Paul? You must feel, and your entire family must feel incredibly proud of her. This is such a huge thing to take on off her own back. It's, it's just been amazing, the support she's had afterwards. Well, we knew it was going to be big over there, but we didn't expect it to hit over here yes. the way it has, and she's just had loads of support, friends, mm -hmm. family's been amazing with it. It's been huge, hasn't it? Because you, you did take part in the, the Voice Kids, didn't you? Um, so, which I suppose is maybe a little bit of experience in being within the studio, but to go to America to do this, I mean, the, I, I've spent time over there. It's one of the biggest shows still that you get on the telly. So you get a real sense of that, I'm sure, when you're part of it. Um, can you tell us anything about what music you're going to choose for the next editions, or how does that work? Um, I can't tell you what I'm going to sing. But I can tell you, it's a classical, it's a classic, and it's got loads of energy in it. Oh, my goodness.